thread throughout your bats the last two games? Uh, I think we've we've controlled the zone well, and and again, up and down. Um, so everyone's kind of having a part in it, making it, making the the other pitcher really work, um, and, and just kind of grinding through those at bats, and then. You know, in those big spots, we've been able to come through with a big hit to have that big inning or and to keep piling on. Got a couple balls out of the ballpark today, but just up and down, you know, good plan, execution, and then up and down, guys making it hard. What's key to Ann Duhar's consistent excellence? He's got a great swing. I mean, I mean that's, that's a swing that <clears throat> first time I saw it, you know, you, that's – that's a special look in the box. Um, you know, I, I feel like very versatile, can handle a lot of different pitches, um, can't just be pitched one way, um, not a lot of holes. Um, and and I think what's been impressive is his ability to make adjustments. Um, so he's shown a real, I think, intelligence in the box for such a young player to be able to understand what, what teams are doing to him um, he picks his spots where he'll go up and look for something and uh, it's just a very I mean obviously there's power great bat speed but it's a really good swing that he he lays the bat in the hitting zone for a long time what'd you see from Severino today uh, better I thought he came out on the attack early um, I thought there was some real urgency, especially in that first inning. Um, I thought the fastball was much better today, much crisper. Um, you know, he had a couple strikeouts on changeups in that first inning, a couple really good pitches. But I thought today with his fastball, when he made when he missed with his fastball, he was missing how you want to miss. You know, so you know he walked a couple guys, I think, and had some deeper counts where he was just off the edge uh, with, with his fastball, but not making mistakes in the center of the plate with his fastball. But that said, I thought it was a lot crisper today, too. I thought the changeup and the slider were at times pretty good pitches, still a little bit inconsistent there. But um, all in all, I thought he threw the ball really well. Susan. How is Romine? Rose good. Um, he, uh, you know, obviously... You know, anytime you you see that, um, went through the testing and stuff on the field and deemed he was okay. Then we took him down in the tunnel in between innings. Um, you know, felt like he was okay. But just seeing the video and seeing him kind of stumble like that, uh, we just wanted to be careful. And then we got him with the doctor, had his scat test, um, passed that. And, and he's in, he, he seems to be pretty good right now. So we'll continue to monitor him and, and see how he's doing. But I, th I, think he's, I think he's okay. Who else? Dan? Given the catching situation right now, how important is it that you still have him, if not tomorrow, then shortly thereafter? Well, I mean, he's, he's huge for us, obviously, right now. And, and not just right now, anytime. But... Um, Higgy will catch tomorrow regardless. Um, even if he comes in and he's he's good to go, Higgy will catch tomorrow. And then with the off day Monday, you know, hopefully, uh, you know, he's, he remains symptom-free and, and it's not a big issue. But like I said, we'll continue to monitor him and follow him closely and see where we're at um, as the hours unfold. But right now, um, he seems to be fine. Dave. Aaron, you seem to suggest a little bit that Severino is still kind of a, a work in progress. I mean, he didn't get an out in the sixth today, right. which is obviously a leg longer yeah. out of him. Is that accurate to say he's still trying to work through some things? Or I mean, yeah, but, you know, credit to them a little bit, too. You know, I, they worked some deep counts. They made him work a little bit. So to drive that pitch count up to where he wasn't going to be able to go any more than six, even if he went out and had a clean inning there, um, but, no, I thought he did a lot of things well today, um, and I thought a giant step in the right direction. Um, and I, I just I, I liked his pace. I liked his demeanor. I thought there was some aggression. I thought, I thought he was really focused and on the attack and really made it a priority to come out, especially with the fastball, and really drive it in the zone. And, and like I said, did a good job of when he missed with his fastball – it was off the plate. It wasn't. It wasn't a mistake in the center. He avoided that for the most part today. Ryan, 
Aaron, as you guys go through this period without Judge and without Sanchez, what has the consistent production of Stanton meant to you guys? Um, wow. He's, I mean, you know, he's an elite level player, you know, an impact player in every, you know, sense of the word. So, you know, as we've, you know, gone through, obviously beat up a little bit and missing some guys, you know, it, it's important that guys step up and you know he's a big reason why we've been able to continue to win games and um you know he's been right in the middle of so much of it um and then you know another strong day for him today i mean you almost don't even notice him today when he throws a couple out there at a home run you know it's almost like um i don't want to say i take it for granted because i don't it but um it, it it's been really needed and through a tough time and, and necessary and and uh you know it's fun to see him go out there and and have big time success kevin to the left how difficult is it for walker to do you know to make that switch and you know there's some tough plays we saw it again today and, and yeah i mean you survive like that yeah well first off walks a pro and 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 i think he's he's put a lot of work in that the willingness and the kind of the want to to kind of hey whatever we need right now he understands we're you know we're in a little bit of a unique situation um so i think what he's been able to do out there he's actually played it played really well out there you know a couple mistakes but all in all you know i think he's he's probably surpassed what i i thought he'd be able to do just going out there kind of on the fly you know he's he's started to get his work in obviously with with reggie um and kind of preparing him but you know he's filled a lot of roles and i think his versatility um has been really important for us especially as you know we're we're a couple guys down right now just the ability to play all of the over the infield and the willingness to go play in the outfield to try and keep his bat in, in the lineup um you know i i think he's done i think he's done a nice job out there dan <clears throat> How important was the home run for Bird? And, you know, before that, he had had a rough day getting booed again, kind of yeah. not being able to make a scoop on a, on a uh, ground ball. Did did you sense any of this getting to him mentally? Um, no. No, I, I don't sense that. Um, the one thing I thought I saw today was more aggression in the strike zone, and, and eventually it manifested itself with that home run. I don't feel like for you know, a week or 10 days or so, I've seen that, you know, kind of club head speed through the zone, that impact through the zone. And I felt like all day today, he was really working to let that go. And I thought, even though he didn't have the results to that point, um, I thought we saw some better swings, some more impactful swings with a chance to do damage. And then in the end, he's able to ride one out of here. So hopefully that's something that, um, you know, he can build on. Um, but I think it's important that we continue to see that um, that aggression in the strike zone.